Guess who's back? Hey, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy. I am back again. I am reviewing wines for 2019. Hey, can I say to you, welcome to wine 2019. Oh my God, I'm so excited. These are the first wines, and one of the first lineup of wines I'm reviewing for 2019. And so far, you know, I've, I've been pretty impressed. And on today's show, oh wait, wait a minute. For those who are new, here's the grading system. So simple. Thumbs up. I recommend this wine. I like that wine. Three quarters. I said, you know what? I would drink this wine. You know, let me know what you think about it. Halfway. So you know what? It's just so, so for me. But you let me know what you think. Thumbs down. Get that wine out of here. All right. Now, again, these are my personal opinions. Doesn't make it the rule. Doesn't make it the law. But these are my opinions. These are wines that you see every day. Every day you see these wines. You wonder what they taste like. So now... Let's get this show started. Today's episode, we're going to be going to New Zealand. Let's see if we get that in the view here. Wither Hills, right here. Wither Hills, Sauvignon Blanc, 2017, the Marlboro area. Did some research on that. They made quite a few different Sauvignon Blancs from quite a few different vineyards that they have, you know, different blocks. They also do Pinot Noir. They also do Chardonnay. You know, funny thing. Here's something. I'm going to share a tip with you or a secret. Here's something that I think that is like underutilized. It's missed by maybe quite a few brine drinkers out there. We think about when it's cold outside, we want something big, bold, and heavy. But you know what? How satisfying it is to have a crisp, bright, refreshing, thoroughly chilled white wine when it's cold outside. It is such a thirst quencher. Wow. So, as you can tell, I'm hoping that I find that in this bottle of the Wither Hills uh, 2017 Sauvignon Blanc. Now, I don't have the Hades Corkers on here, but I got a screw cap on. Because you know what? I want If it's a screw cap, I use a screw cap. All right? But I want to, I want to maintain the freshness as always. I, the bottle is uh, uh, two days, and I take some of the wine out, give it enough time to breathe, and there we go. That freshness, that freshness seal, love it, love it, love it. Here's the pour. All right, let's close that puppy up a little bit. Now, Sauvignon Blancs for those who, you know, New Zealand, Australia, they practically made a new mold in the style and the taste when it comes to Sauvignon Blanc. And so we're going to find out if, it, if it's in holding true or staying with who they are. You know, sometimes it you know, some wineries or some wine areas have a tendency to change, you know, with the market, you know, with the consumer. Forget that. Hold true to who you are. That's what I say. So now, clear. Okay. We have a clear Sauvignon Blanc here. I have a little bit of uh, some slight effervescence here in the wine, which maybe you can see, maybe you can't, but it's a little bit. Okay. A little follow here. That's all right. That's the freshness. Oh, wow. Nose. First burst. Citrus. You just call it. Boom. Grapefruit. Wrapped up in melon notes here. Wow. That nose is impressive. I mean, it's true. Boom. Right in your face. Here we go. That's my rinse. Woo. <laughs> wow. If you have a wine that makes you go, woo, then you found a winner. But <laughs> we're going to reserve that until we judge. That was just the Ritz. Now we're going to go through the taste. Woo, baby. Hmm. Here we go. Now, let's start here. Dry wine. You know, there's a lot of, there's a range when it comes to the residual sugar scale. Zero to probably 3%. When I like a dry wine, I stay between zero and 1%. I did my research on this. This is about 0% residual sugar, so it is dry. But because it's dry, it doesn't lack on flavor. Bursting with flavor. Remember that? Woo! Me find a wine with that makes you go woo. Then you got something going on here. Nice acidity, bursting with flavor. 
you know, you got that that grapefruit up front, you know, which is which is traditional, you know, for Sauvignon Blanc from this area, you know, just very intense. The finish is everlasting. You know, I like the fact that it's dry, mid palate, subtle mellow notes, kind of makes it more a little more supple, but overall, very delicious, very crisp, very clean, perfect for food. We got to find the right food for it. So I guess you know where I'm going with this one. Your Wisconsin Y, I give this one a thumbs up. Thumbs up for the Wither Hills Sauvignon Blanc 2017. It's an excellent buy. I think the price for this was like $10 a bottle. If you find this one, give it a try. New Zealand is still holding it down with their Sauvignon Blancs. They're doing it right. You know, and uh, this particular winery, hasn't cut the reputation. So you know what? I'm going to give this a confirmation taste, if you don't mind if I do. So here's my confirmation taste just for you. Thumbs up. Here's your Wisconsin Wine Guy saying, until next time, let your palate be the guy with selecting your next wine, and we'll see you in the next episode. Woo, baby. Bye.